The aim of my films is to bring sensuality back and intimacy back in the world of sex. I think pornography has commercialized sex in a very big way and what I'd like to do is to first of all empower women so they see themselves as the centre of attention in the films and they enjoy watching women having orgasms and hopefully have a lot of good orgasms themselves. But I want to go further than that. It's almost like making humane or humanist porn, as in showing people as human beings rather than just fuck machines. <sighs> I think most porn on the market, I'd say 95%, is done from men for men. So that's the biggest difference. I'm a woman and I make porn for women and couples. You know, some men also like my films and that's great. But my focus is female pleasure. The woman is the centre of attention. The woman is not serving the men, but she's receiving pleasure. She's treated like a goddess rather than a slut. I think what women have been missing in porn films previously is a visual foreplay. We've had attempts of films that have long elaborated dialogues, but I think women fast forward through that as much as men do. I personally do. I don't need a long, complicated script or dialogue, but I do want to see how people get turned on. I want to see them kissing, I want to see them undressing, I want to see the different stages of erotic arousal rather than going from a, some sort of silly dialogue directly into a hardcore scene and close-up shots of penetration. I love to show orgasms, but I choose to not necessarily show them with a cum shot. I think cum shots are highly overrated, they're very predictable. We almost expect every orgasm in a porn video to end with that cum shot, as if we need the proof, oh yes, the man was really excited and he really came. I think it's very hot to show orgasms and very important, but I focus more on the female orgasm and I think it's beautiful to show people's faces when they have an orgasm or the whole body when it goes into spasm. I think a cum shot is a little bit, it means the two people are interrupted having great sex whilst they orgasm and it kind of leaves the woman a little bit high and dry, so I choose not to direct the couples I shoot with to separate in the moment of orgasm but stay together and enjoy it together. I cast my performers very differently than it might be done in the mainstream porn industry. I meet people for a cup of coffee to begin with and if we click and share this sort of similar ideas of eroticism then I'll see them again, maybe for dinner with some other performers and we build trust and we build connections that are here and here very much. And I don't really see my performers naked before the shoot. I do not cast by the size of dick. I'm very fortunate to have some amazing people in my team, performers, crew members, and they're all there for the love of it. We all don't make much money with it at all. And it's beautiful to be working with people who do it for the love of it and for the passion of it. And we laugh a lot during shoots. and. We hang out a lot. It's not that we do a shoot and everybody just packs up their things and goes and that's it and we never see each other again. We are connected. Oh. Until now it felt like I had the most expensive hobby in the world. I made those films, I put a lot of money, my own money and time into them and you know I didn't really know is it going to go anywhere. I hope I can do more films and I hope we're going to be able to afford more amazing locations, better technology, and also have these films distributed all around the world. Because I do think that these films, you know, can really enrich people's lives, and I don't want to stop making them. So thanks for supporting us. <laughs>